Welcome back to Kids Life. I'm here with Michael Gross from Parenting Ideas, who's going to talk to us about how to be a good dad. What What's the... Um... Oh, a great dad, you mean. <laughs> a great dad. How to be a great dad. You look, a great dad these days is an involved dad. Okay. So very different than perhaps being a dad um, in, when my father was raising me. Um, yeah. the, the notion of involvement was, was quite different. These days, dads want to be completely involved in the lives of their kids, and that means yeah. hands-on. Yes. That absolutely means hands-on. What we do know about dads is that they spend only one-third of the time that their wives spend around kids. So yeah. parenting that tends to be more mother-focused than father-focused, except on weekends. Yes. When the amount of time, that, the amount of percentage of time that dads spend around kids increases quite dramatically, whereas for mums it, it doesn't. Um, so I, my tips are these. Become really involved and take responsibility from your child from a really early age, even from a baby. So, mm -hmm. so, so you know, learn the fathering or the parenting things then. Um, there's a high correlation between those fathers that take responsibility for their kids in the early years mm -hmm. and those who get um, satisfaction from their role of, of being a, a father. Um, second, realise that your language, the language of fatherhood is very different than the language of motherhood. The language of fatherhood is often about activity and about play. Mm -hmm. So that, make the most of that. Um, you know, get involved, play with your kids and really enjoy the, the time you have with your kids. Yeah. Um, if you've got a son, realise that around about the age of four, five or six you're Superman. They want to spend time with, with you yeah. uh, because they're downloading the software about how to be a male. Yeah. And don't take it personally when they turn 13, 14 and they realise you're just Clark Kent, yes. not Superman. <laughs> and if you've got a daughter, I believe one of the things you do is you actually teach your daughter how they should be treated by other males. So treat them well, allow them to be a little bit assertive to you. Uh, and that, that will teach them that if I can speak up to dad and tell him to get off the grass in a reasonable sort of way, yes. I'll be able to do that with other males as well. Yes. Um, so we're both role models to our boys and also gender models to our girls. Mm. And the th third thing I think you can do if you're a, a dad is, um, if you're a busy dad, and I, I think majority of dads are, just mm. like mums, we're, we're really busy, schedule some time to spend with your kids. Ritualise your time. Um, and that means that, that make sure you've got some times either every day or at least you know, two or three times a week where you're going to spend some time with your kids. Mm. Whether it's within a game, whether it's saying goodnight to them, whether it's on a Saturday morning, you always do uh, whatever it may be that you always do. Um, so make sure you carve out a bit of time to spend with your kids. Um, I was going to say, if Dad's working like full time throughout mm. the week, should they be allocating maybe meal times or weekends? What's the best, the best time to spend with the kids? The best time to spend with the kids is, is whatever works for you, and I don't mean that in a silly sort of way. Um, I looked at working families a number of years ago and looked at what worked well and what didn't work well. One of the things I noticed about dads who did the work family thing really well was that they scheduled time with their kids. Uh, it's great if you can do it on a daily basis. I always say talk to your kids every day. If you can't talk to your kids every day, at least make sure that you've got an emotional connection that you're doing it in some way that you're taking an interest in, in, in their in their lives mm -hmm. sometimes we get really busy and we travel um, but if it's not every day make sure it's at least it's once a week um, as your kids move into adolescence do what I did when I was growing up where where once a term we actually spent a day with each other it was diarized and you had to you had okay. to go on a date with dad whether you're a male or female okay and, which was fun and yeah. we, we had all sorts of different uh, activities and a couple of times they weren't all that wrapped but it was it was a non-negotiable so what I found out with those dads who did the work family thing well was they used the same skills that made them successful at work, um, used them at home. That is, they planned and prioritised. Mm. And if their priority was, was to spend some time with their kids, uh, then they would plan for that and they would make sure that that happened. Um, and males are very, respond very, very strongly to rituals. Um, and kids tell us as well that uh, there's three sorts of times that they like at home. Mm. Firstly, they like downtime. Yep. That means um, maybe Sunday afternoon there's nothing much has happened. Mm. And that's when the kids tell us that dad becomes fun. He suddenly relaxes and you know he suddenly becomes human. Yes. So make sure you have a little bit of downtime. Um, secondly, kids say they like one-on-one -on -one time. I love, okay. I love having one-on-one -on -one time with my dad. Yep. Uh, so that's important. And the third thing that kids say is they, they like rituals. And the rituals are the meal times we have, have all those individual activities which you know, will happen every week. And the reason why they like them is because they can lie on them. They know yes. they're always going to happen. Yep. So, uh, so to be a great dad, you need to be an involved dad and you need to make sure, you know, don't wait for it to happen. Make sure that it happens. Mm. 
And this will help bring the balance back into the family, yes? It will be, you know, mum spending a lot of time with them throughout the week. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Look, we, mothering and fathering is, we, we call it parenting, but it's not. It's really about being a mother and a father. Mm. And mothers and fathers, you know, parent differently. Mothers uh, often are a little bit more nurturant and fathers can often be a little bit more of the challenges and, and you know, come at things from a different angle. Um, so don't try and be a, a parent like your wife is, you know, because it, it doesn't work that way. You need to be you know, a dad and, and dads do something. things really differently. Yeah. And so don't be gender neutral, be a dad and, uh, and just you know, make sure you do spend time with your kids. And as always, I've got one tip with, uh, with dads and their sons. What's that? Make sure that when you interact with them, you don't turn everything into a lesson because dads tend to actually do that with their sons. Okay. Because they always want to improve them. And often their sons will pull, pull back and say, Dad, I just want to have some fun. Exactly. Kick the footy. A little bit like that. And don't say a whole lot like this. No, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Michael. Pleasure.